In recent times, I've heard of more and more people who are succumbing uh, to death and all of that on the back of the no-bed syndrome and, and all of that. How, how much of an impact do you feel the La Geno Hospital uh, is going to have? Mind you, there was that hospital that was brought to, raised uh, to the ground, which has still not uh, been erected and all of that. H how much of an impact do you feel this, was make, this will make in that community? Well, look, it's any new bed, any new hospital built in a community is good news. Um, I only guess flinch a little bit when I hear that there's a hospital that's going to cost 56 million euro. Right. I think it's, it's, it's a lot. It's a lot of money for a hospital. Right. Um, I don't know what they are going to put in there, but the problem we have in Ghana is that when these technocrats are, are putting together a hospital and they are ordering the machinery, they order the Rolls Royce of every machine. So you realize that if you go to the Ridge Hospital, most of the equipments in the Ridge Hospital, you are amazed what kind of machines they have in there. They have like the Rolls Royce of every machine, right? And it comes in and they don't even know how to use it or they don't even use it properly. Or some, most of the times it just sits there and doesn't work. I'm hoping that 56 million euro for a hospital is gonna, we're gonna have our money's worth for. Because like I said, 56 million is a lot of money for a hospital. I right. don't know what machines they are trying to put in there. I don't know what sort of theater they are trying to put in there. But in general, new hospitals are good news in communities. Right. The issue with um, beds, okay, is that we run a system where somebody can be in a hospital for two weeks recovering. Okay. In the Western world, they don't do that. Right. In America, you go to the hospital three, four days, you are released to go home, and there is um, an on-call nurse, right. okay? a, a nurse that come home to basically look after you. The reason they do that is it rotates the beds. When somebody goes to an operation and he's been assessed, you, you give birth in America, and in, th in three days, you are allowed to go home. Right. Then if there are issues, there's the nursing part of it is taken care by nurses that come home and basically visit you. Mm. We need to look at that service. We cannot be letting people be in a hospital for minor injuries and minor surgeries and minor illness, and they are just lying on bed. All right. Some people can't afford to pay, and because they have not paid the hospital, the hospital keep them in the hospital until they pay. I mean, the, the, it, that's why we never have enough beds. Mm. So we can't, we need to change the system. The system where people just lie on bed for minor surgery and minor illnesses should, should stop.